Okay, so I've put labels using this little text tool here. I've created labels and then dragged them around labeling what's going to happen. How I'm going to address everything, all right? And so you can do that too, right? And I've I've kind of explained how everything's Now we haven't actually done any configuring. I've just labeled what's going to happen. And so now I've got to actually configure all the devices so that they adopt these numbers. Okay, so let's start with the basic configuration. First of all, this PC. Let's start with something easy. We grab the PC, click desktop, IP configuration, 192.168.1.100. Subnet mask will be default. His gateway will be 192.168.1.1. Okay, so there we go. And so now, this PC is configured. Okay, if you want to hover over it, you can see if the address is in there, and it is. Okay, now the router. So we have two interfaces that we need to configure the Ethernet and the serial. Okay, so click over here and get the command line interface. Type no, we don't want to do a wizard, just want to do manual configuration. EN for enable, conf T to go to global config, INT, serial, let's start with serial, serial 2 slash 0, okay, IP address 10.0.0.1, let's go with the classful subnet mask, 255.0.0.0, .0 .0 .0. okay, no, shut. Okay, now it's up. Now interface FA 0 slash 0 IP address oops, we have to spell address right. IP address 192.168.1.1 dot 255.255.255.0 .255 .255 .255 and no shut. Okay, and that's up. So we just configured that. Also what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on RIP for this um, router and I'm going to put in the two networks that are going to be a part of this. So I'm going to turn on RIP. So let me see here. I'm going to do a uh, control C. It takes me back to privilege to exec and I'm going to do a conf T to go to global config. Type router RIP, Let's turn on the RIP routing protocol, and then I'm going to put in the two networks on my two interfaces, which are the 192.168.1 network and the 10 network. So I'll just put in 10 uh, network 10.0.0.0, okay, and network 192.168.1.1. Okay, and that's it. I'm done there, right? So I got that router configured. Now you're going to need to do the same thing for these other clients and these other routers. Okay, time for the other networks. Let's do the second one here. Let's click here. One seven two dot sixteen dot zero dot one hundred. Then one seven two dot sixteen zero dot one. Okay, close that out, close that out, open up the router, and we got to do both interfaces here. Okay, no, enter, enable, conf T for configure terminal, all right, and interface serial 2 slash 0, IP address. 10.0.0.2 oh nope hold on 255.0.0.0 right classful that looks good all right no shut all right that's good now interface fa0/0 zero zero. ip address and that's 
0 0.1 all right and let's go classful oops incomplete command up arrow forgot my subnet mask 255.255.0.0 so that's classful no shut all right control c enter conf t i'm back in global config mode now okay and now time to turn on rip router rip all right network 10.0.0.0 and up arrow network 172.16.0.0 all right so there's that let's just double check this pc has the right subnet mask it does you can see it right there all right now we just have to do this last router and pc so click here one nine two dot one six eight dot five dot one hundred and two dot one six eight five dot one okay beautiful and then the router Okay, and then okay. Control C to get out of there. Hit enter. Takes me back to privilege exec mode. Conf T. Now I'm in global config mode. Router rip. Network 10.0.0.0. And network 192.168 dot five dot zero okay okay so now we have the PCs configured and the routers partially configured they've got rip and they've got their interfaces configured we're gonna do this cloud next set up the cloud and then we'll do the last but not least we'll do the frame relay commands on the routers right now might be a good time to save a version of this so that I have a um, a version for safekeeping that does not have everything finished in it so I can go multiple ways with it so I can say frame relay start 